George Hood was already an accomplished musician when he joined the volunteer force on the 28th of February 1899. He signed up with 1st Volunteer Battalion, the Suffolk Regiment, as a bandsman, and he took with him his own snare drum, this snare drum, which he would continue to play in the Volunteer Force, the Territorial Force, the Yeomanry, the Territorial Army, and indeed some civilian bands, literally for the rest of his life. George wasn't one of those who volunteered to serve in South Africa with the volunteer companies during the Boer War, but he was an enthusiastic member of the battalion and attended all of the summer camps. In 1908, when Haldane reformed the army and the old volunteer force was swept away, George was one of the first volunteers to join the new territorial force and was given regimental number 71 in the 4th Battalion Suffolk Regiment. He attended all of the camps before the First World War and often crops up in photographs of the band. When the war broke out, George didn't volunteer to serve overseas. In fact, the territorial force couldn't be compelled unless men signed the Imperial Service Pledge. But in George's case, it was because he had a very bad case of sciatica and he spent the first two years of the war at home before eventually the army decided that he was no longer fit to serve and he was discharged. That didn't stop him from playing in military bands. He then went and joined the band of the Volunteer Training Corps in Ipswich, still wearing his 4th Battalion uniform. He stands out like a sore thumb amongst all the fellows in their greeny khaki grey colour uniforms. At the end of the war, the territorial force were disbanded but when the Suffolk Yeomanry were reformed in the early 1920s, George joined their band and can often be seen in photographs. The Territorial Force were soon reformed, this time as the Territorial Army, and George transferred back to 4th Battalion Suffolk Regiment. The interwar years were hard for a lot of people and George was no exception. He had his own one-man band and would entertain the public on street corners in Ipswich for money. The last photograph we have of George shows him in his 4th Battalion scarlet tunic, taken in 1938, not long before he died. By this time, almost certainly years past the time when he should really have retired, and certainly would have done if he'd been in anything else other than the band. George is typical of many, many soldiers who served with volunteer units, territorial force units over the years. All he had to show for his service at the end was no war experience, but a territorial force efficiency medal and an awful lot of memories. And it's great today to be able to remember people like George too.